Hello, my name is James, I'm the Mayor of Jamestown, and today I'm going to demonstrate a fun little team that I'm sure many people have already sort of surmised. So, a couple of months, well, I say a couple of months back, this was like eight months ago, I came up, well I say I came up with, I accidentally came across the wonderful team that was uh, the Yanfei and Beidou pairing. So it's very simple. You activate Beidou's ult, and then Yanfei proceeds to, you know, activate millions upon millions of uh, of overload procs. And it is absolutely fantastic if you want just procs all of the time. It is absolutely fantastic. It is so much fun. But... This was before Raiden Shogun had been released into the game. So if we just find her, this lovely character here, as I'm sure most of you will know by now if you play Genshin Impact, has a very useful ability in the forms of her skill. Although it doesn't help when she's shocking herself because water collision in this game is odd. So essentially, with the E active, um, occasionally whenever you attack, an Electro will proc. Which means that you have additional procs outside of Beidou's ult. So this is absolutely fantastic. So Raiden's E ends up giving you tons of energy recharge, which in turn recharges Beidou's ult much faster. Which in turn means you can then use Beidou's ult, which then creates tons of reactions using Yanfei's basic attacks and her skills and her burst. And it is so much fun. It is absurd. Zhang Ling is here. Just sort of for support, I suppose. Um, I'm kind of trying to build Zhang Ling after... She was the first character I ever got to Friendship Rank 10. And I never used her again. I'm like, this doesn't seem very fair. And I started using her the other day. I'm like, actually, her kit's quite fun. I should really give her a chance. So, how the team works is we've obviously got high voltage with... Ryan Shogun and Beidou, that's fairly simple. Their energy battery, which is fantastic. Obviously, you need the Yanfei. You can also use Klee. I know a lot of people suggested using Klee. I don't own Klee. Um, I probably never will own Klee, unless she just sort of shows up accidentally. But yeah, a ton of people suggested trying these three, and they were damn right. It is a ton of fun. Um, in terms of the fourth character... You can flex, you could use you could use Klee, but it seems kind of redundant because you only need Yanfei or Klee. I prefer Yanfei's playstyle just because I like her charge attacks a little bit more. But Klee is a lot of fun. Um Zhang Ling you could replace with honestly pretty much anyone that's Pyro to be honest. Could use Toma for a bit more defense, possibly. Um Amber if you wanted a bow user. Literally Anyone that has fire. Bennett. Bennett would be good, I suppose. Um, but honestly, the only real reason I have a pyro user is just because the elemental resonance of increases attack by 25%, which is just extra damage. If you're worried about being a little bit uh, vulnerable, then I would just suggest Diona, which, to be honest, if I'm ever worried about Yanfei dying, which I do a lot because she's she's not very squishy. Uh, she is very squishy. My apologies. It's worth um, getting some kind of shield unit that you're that you're comfortable with. So Zhongli and Diona, they all work pretty decently. So I will state now, my characters aren't uh, they aren't perfect in terms of a DPS. They're not you know the best you're ever gonna see. I play the game very casually for the most part, so her stats aren't particularly amazing. So her crit is. 57, 0.1, 121 damage. The weapon I'm using is the Dodoko Tails, just because normal attack hits on opponents increase charge attack damage by 32%. This is made, this is technically made for Klee, but it's also really good for Yanfei, so it is what it is. I've got the um, Crimson Witch of Flame set. Um, I'm not happy with my Crimson Witch of Flame set. As of right now, so I'm farming it like a bitch, trying to get it all done because this is atrocious, and I don't have anything decent to replace it with. 
you don't technically need the four piece Crimson Witcher Flame set, but I, I like it because of the overload damage. I think this is just pyro damage. Yeah, it's, it's decent, it's not great, but it, it'll do the job. Um, Ryan Shogun, again, she's not amazing in terms of her stats. So it's 48 to 124. I would like more crit, but is what it is. She's currently using the Deathmatch just because it increases my crit rate. I would like to be using the catch, but it doesn't increase my crit rate. And with this attached, I lose 33.5% crit rate. And considering that my crit rate is as low as 48.2%, I'm not really gaining much. And I'm over 200 energy anyway, so the extra energy recharge I found wasn't as useful as the extra crit rate and crit damage. Um, let's see, uh, stuff. So just, yeah, four police emblem severed fate. Seems fairly standard. Electro gauntlet. Uh, goblet even. Not a good one. I really, really want to find a decent electro goblet, but this is the best one I currently have, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, her stuff isn't particularly amazing as i said look i've only got 9.7 crit rate on her artifacts alone again not particularly well built her talents are pretty standard her normal attack is one because i don't use it um obviously her e and her q are both level six i will probably upgrade them because i'm having a ton of fun with riding shogun's kit yanfei is six 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 everything except this one because her constellation is free really like yonfei's constellations if i remember correctly so there was this one each scarlet seal additionally reduces the stamina cost of her charge attacks yeah big fan of yonfei's uh constellations they're really good and charge attack damage increase uh crit rate by 20 percent below 50 percent enemies really nice and there's a bunch of other stuff and then increased number of scarlet seals by one really want to see her c6 just so i can try this out because it looks like it'd be a lot of fun obviously riding shogun is just one because we see with five star characters to be honest i just want the character and then i'm done jongling again she's c2 she do she doesn't really add much to the team occasionally i'll use her e occasionally i use our q she's just there for the pyro attack bonus beto is in an atrocious state so this i've not actually leveled have i no i've just got it from her constellation that's abysmal this should be level six i don't know why i've not leveled this to level six my Beidou's not good okay let's just let's just put it that way if you see four which is it's fine you don't need honestly her z zero her c zero is fine everyone's c zero is fine the only person i would suggest maybe getting more constellations on is is Yanfei, but she shows up in and out of banners all the time, so there's no sort of need to hunt for her, really. And uh, Beidou's stats are, again, atrocious. Just got the Gladiator's Finale and Electro Damage Bonus. And honestly, the Gladiator's Finale I need to replace. I've just not gotten around to doing it. Yeah, my Beidou's trash, to be quite frank with you. She's not good. Like, she, <laughs> the crit rate is 12.8, crit damage 132. This is this is arse backwards. I've not overhauled my Beidou in almost a year. So, Beidou is in need of some some much needed love, care, and affection. Um, She's just got this on because I swapped it with someone else. I kind of want to try her with a Sacrificial Greatsword. Just so I can get her ease out a bit more often. Could also use Serpent Spine, but currently Razor's using that and they can't both have it. Um, yeah, that's about it, really. So the characters aren't built perfectly. They're never going to be. I don't like using resources. I've said this on numerous occasions. Numerous occasions. But anyway, let's uh, jump in and see how, uh, how it actually works, shall we? Right, here we are. I thought the most consistent place for any type of testing would be uh, the Abyss, since, you know, it's always the same. Um, I don't do Abyss very often, so I'm not sure what the optimal place is for testing with these kinds of things. And I never 36 star Abyss anyway, because I just can't, I can't be asked. But um, yeah, anyway, here we are. So uh, 
we'll start off with this one. So what we do, Raiden, E, Beidou, Alt, and then we just, just do what we want with Yanfei. So with Yan, okay, maybe don't freeze me. So with Yanfei, you pretty much just wait until you've got three Scarlet Seals, either from doing basic attacks, or you do your E, or your Q, and eventually you've got three Scarlet Seals, and you do a charge attack, and then boom. And as you can see, there are so many <laughs> reactions. It is absolutely beautiful. And we're done. Allow me to just uh, reload Abyss and do that again. And here we are again. So let us uh, let's just quickly show off how to uh, do all that again. So you can do this in any order, quite frankly. It doesn't need to be in the order I do it. It's just whichever order you feel happy with. So E, Beidou, Alt, Yanfei. And then you just honestly just do what you want with Yanfei. The added benefit with Beidou is that her Alt acts as a shield. So if you don't have a great shield character already, she can work in a pinch as a shield character. Which is nice. And... The great part of having Raiden Shogun as part of the team is that as soon as you run out of ults for, let's say you've got Zhang Ling in there, let's say you've Beidou ulted, Zhang Ling ulted, Yanfei ulted, and now you need to recover some of your energy recharge, you can just uh, Raiden Shogun ult, and then she can go off for about six, I think six, seven, eight seconds, something like that, I'm not too sure, and by the time you're done, your ults are going to be back up because you've got an Electro Battery in the form of Raiden Shogun. It is such a fun team comp and is honestly my favourite team comp in the game. If I want to have fun with Genshin Impact, this is the team I'm bringing along. If I want consistent damage, I won't deny, Razor will forever be my main DPS. He will be my ride or die until the day I croak. But this team, in terms of if I want a ton of elemental reactions, it just goes off. It is so satisfying to play. And while Raiden Shogun is a five star and you do have to kind of commit to, you know, pulling her in whenever her banner comes around again, she, she adds such... A special addition to the team that it's kind of it's kind of hard to enjoy without it. Except that's not exactly true. If you don't have Raiden Shogun, Yanfei and Beidou make an exceptional team on their own. Beidou's ult with Yanfei's basic attacks is a fun time to be had, regardless. But when you throw Raiden Shogun in, it's just it's it's beautiful. It's a beautiful addition. Um, and I was just about to end, end the video there, but then I remembered there's someone else we can throw in here that may or may not fit. I've not really tried it myself, but uh, we'll give it a quick go and we shall see. So let's have a quick check now. Right, and here we are again. Now this time, I've added Sh Sh I've added Xing Cho. Xing Cho's ult, very useful. Big addition to a lot of my teams because his ult is so incredibly useful that it's hard not to want in everything. The only downside is that he may cause, um, what is it? Is it, ele it might cause Electro Charge. Um, it may also cause Vaporize. So we may miss out on some of the Overload, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because sometimes Overload can explode people a little bit too far away, which is a problem i will admit the team does have but uh let's give it a go shall we also just a heads up this works better when you're doing it on like a bunch of hilly trills that are just grouped up but um i thought the tankier units would be able to sort of test the teams out a bit better but anyway enough talking let's see how the team fares with xing cho added so we'll sh widen e xing cho alt beto alt Look at that. So many numbers. Honestly, it works <laughs> really well. Look at all the numbers. So, so, so many numbers. 
Okay, so Xingqiu actually works with the team really well. The only downside is you do lose some of the DPS from Yanfei. Well, the, the whole team loses DPS because you lose the um, Pyro Resonance bonus. But, as you could see, it wasn't a massive deal because a decently built Xingqiu does an absolute metric ton of damage. So, yeah. I would suggest throwing Xingqiu into the mix to... Uh, really amp up your damage if you don't have a, a decent fire you you want to bring into the fray but yeah that's the team i'm a big fan of it people were suggesting to add Raiden shogun to the mix and as it turns out they were very much correct in their assumptions of how good she was because she is a very welcome addition to the team and i honestly can't wait to play some more with the team because it just it's just so much fun if you're a fan of the sort of massive amounts of numbers that just crop up on screen when you do damage. The team is definitely the way to go for it. It definitely does a lot more uh, in terms of damage numbers than my my regular team. Anyway, it's a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. You don't even need Raiden Shogun because Yanfei, Beidou, and Zhangling, uh, Jing Cho, sorry, are still a great team to play around with Raiden Shogun again just really adds to it but anyway that's about all I have to say on the matter be sure to like comment subscribe and all of that good stuff and until next time goodbye